Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Kevin, and I am unsurprisingly delighted <laughs> to reacquaint myself with Meg Wrenchler. She has already brightened my day in ways that I really can't speak to specifically, but just talking about the most mundane stuff, and I'm already like 100 times better than I was before I hit admit to the Zoom room. So let me reacquaint you with Meg, and we can get to talking about how things have gone for the past year plus and the exciting things that are coming up for both of us in the future. So Meg has been teaching and mentoring professional coaches since 2008. Meg created and hosts the Star Coach Show, which offers guidance on skill and business development to coaches around the world. Meg, it's just, I'm just grateful to see, you. we're just recording this past Thanksgiving. I still have very much gratitude on the brain, <laughs> even more so than yes. I usually do. I'm very grateful to get a chance to talk to you again. I know that you're up to interesting and just really powerful stuff. And you're also just like a ray of sunshine. So thank you for sharing a little bit of your light with me and my audience today. Oh, Kevin, thank you so much for that lovely introduction. And it, there's just great energy when we get together. It's a joy to be here with you. Yeah, I, I see no reason to put any clouds in front of the in front of this in front of this light. I get, get a little I get a little silly and I start I get a little like lovey dovey when I start talking to especially coaches who I've talked to once or twice before where I'm just like, it feels those friends you have in life where it's you might not talk to them for a decade. But then you like have a conversation or you start like a text thread or whatever. And within five minutes, you find yourself just falling into the easy rhythms of a relationship. Right. And you're like, some people are just like that. You can just connect exactly. with people on that level. And I love it. I, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> so let's talk about, let's talk about your show. You've been hosting the show for quite some time. And I'm curious to, to talk to you about how it's developed in the past year and a half or so. Mm -hmm. Anything that's exciting coming around the corner. So yeah, just let me, let me and the audience in on your 2023 and anything that might be coming up in 2024 or beyond that you're just stoked about. Oh, thank you for asking. So yeah. the Star Coach Show, Strategies, Tools, and Resources for Coaches. Some things that have evolved in 2023 is mm -hmm. a lot of my business has been working with leaders to use coaching to enhance their leadership. So I've mm -hmm. been going into organizations and really leaning into the skills that we use as coaches that are very transferable to leadership. And I've noticed that same thing coming into the podcast that I've actually started to say for coaches and leaders, because so many of the people tuning in are leaders trying to or succeeding, but wanting to enhance the skill set that they have to better lead and better empower their teams. And what better way to do that than to listen more deeply, to be curious about what people are bringing to the table, to enable people to use their natural strengths and talents and skills rather than creating learned helplessness. So the show continues to have its weekly, we're in our seventh year. So in October, we hit seven years, three just short of 370 episodes. And I think that's probably continue to absolutely, we were talking before we hit the record button about the gift that being a host of a show gives us. And that is mm -hmm. being able to <laughs> connect with phenomenal people from around the world and um, get lit up by their energy and their excitement about what they do. So that continues every single day. I feel so blessed and so grateful for the experience that people are willing to share. And this is the other thing, Kevin, people are willing to share their genius. They're not holding it close to their chests and saying, that's my mind. You can't have <laughs> If you ask people, are you, would you care to share your expertise about this, that, or the other thing? They're like, absolutely. Yeah. And the other thing that has really been exciting this year is growing of my membership community in mm -hmm. being able to say, you're getting all this value from the Star Coach show. Would you like to take it up one level at a low cost to be able to rub elbows with the experts that come on the show. So the mm -hmm. reason I bring that up is that just last night I was talking with the coach who's going to come on and do my star power hour with my community mm -hmm. this next month. 
And we're talking about how do you move out of the ordinary and offer things like retreats and VIP days mm -hmm. and exciting things. And she's like, I'll come and talk to your audience motivate these coaches to think outside of the box and to offer things that excite them and energize them. So I think that when we lean into gratitude and we lean into what we're doing, I don't think any of us can do this alone. And it's the energy that comes from working with other people and giving them a platform to shine what they do. And then it just multiplies and the ripple effect of that, whether it's teaching leaders how to do things differently, helping coaches bring their work into the world. Isn't it freaking exciting? It really is. And contagious is all get out. I got to say, yes. like we were talking about, we, we, we've been talking about how it just like these acts of service, this attitude of service of just like, I just want to see where I can help, what I can share, how I can contribute. Right. And how, like you were saying, how multiplied that effect is, how exponential that effect is in your life and the lives of those you are having an effect on, the lives of those you're interacting with. And it really is, it's, if you think about it too long or think about it with too narrow of a mind, it doesn't really make sense. And you want to talk yourself out of trusting it because it feels like it shouldn't work that yeah. way, but it keeps working that way. It keeps these conversations keep being fantastic. People keep saying they're getting so much out of them and wanting to find out how they could contribute how they could help and you're like oh i'm this is having an effect and that a few dozen a few hundred a few thousand times and eventually you just have to get you just have to trust it because it's just right. cause it's, it's what's happening it's what happens every time and it's it's such a beautiful way in which that abundance creates abundance when you right. just give and add and contribute how that just creates more for everyone. And it's not like some zero sum game, some limited slice of the pie that we're trying to parcel out in some specific way so that everybody gets the tiniest little bite that nobody can taste. Abundance will generate abundance. And it's right. no more true than in something like this, where you're just having such a profound effect and growing that effect on a regular basis through your show. It's just, it's just straight up magical, quite frankly. <laughs> I would absolutely agree with that. And the magic seems to multiply and, and then people are, they, they get the, get the shot of it or get the, so then you can see it zinging, like light zinging around. Mm -hmm. And that's <laughs> exciting as well. It really is. I've, I so frequently find myself using terminology like contagious or catch the fever where I, but I'm like in my head, I'm okay. So this totally still makes sense. Contagion and fever is not, those aren't the best analogies here in 2023 or here in the last few years, but it keeps, right. it's the good version of that in a way that I just feel like there's, it's hard to capture that. Like the way the light bounces around and just illuminates right. the room. We become both the absorbers of the light, the plants that are photosynthesizing right. that light into energy and mirrors to help share the light. I'm working on new analogies other than- changing. You know what? The thing about <laughs> your analogies is that with everything, isn't there a light and a shadow side to it, right? So you're just bringing the light side to it because we've had a lot of the shadow side to it. Let's step into the fact that we can contagiously ignite <laughs> one another in a positive way as well. Absolutely. And I'm, I want to talk to you a little bit about like your membership group, because that's pretty exciting. And it feels like when you lay that, when you say it, it's, oh, that's a natural expression of the next the next stage or development of your show it's okay so people are the audience they're not just passive listeners some of them are of course but they also like that passivity that listening sparks action and they're like how do i get more how do i like you were saying rub elbows with some of these people and have some conversations and let things get a little more specific and really put my money where my mouth is so to speak so right. tell me more about this membership program you've got going so thanks the membership was actually something that i have thought about for years and really wanted to create this next level experience where listeners have more access to me. They have access to several of the experts that we have on the show. And so from the get-go, like seven years ago, I started asking my guests at the end of their interview, if they would answer a bonus question for me. And that bonus question we would come up with together. And it's like, what's one gold nugget? If I asked you one question, you could give me a gold nugget answer in two to five minutes. And so I now have hundreds of these bite-sized nuggets of, and I call them pearls of wisdom. They're in the pearls of wisdom library in the membership community. There are 
anything under enrolling clients, building credibility and visibility, tricks of the trade, different things that we've learned about our skills, professional development, personal development. I've got 10 categories that they go in. And part of the membership is that the members get these bite-sized nuggets. They can go into the Pearls of Wisdom library anytime. And it's a way to bring that extra because we're all busy. So we don't necessarily, they've already probably heard the 30, 40 minute interview that I did with these people. But if they want, what's a great way to do a discovery call? These experts gave these bite-sized nuggets about discovery calls or about the best use of their continuing education budget or whatever. So it's, it's a wide variety. So that's in there as ongoing resources, but I also wanted to create an ex- a live experience for mm. the members. And I say, this is the most cost-effective way you'll ever have a chance to get access to me in any kind of mentorship or these experts that are on the show. So four times a month, we do a live event. It's either a star power hour where we're bringing in one of these experts, they share a little bit of information. But the key thing of that is that the members get to ask questions and they get to engage directly with these experts in the industry. They get access to me for a hot seat coaching and live Q&A once a month. And they bring, and everybody learns whether you bring a question or not, you are getting access to that kind of feedback and engagement. And I promise you that the coaches in that community are super connected to one another, which brings me to the next event that we do, which actually happens to be one of my favorites, is that we do a social every month because how isolating is it to build a business on your own? Or we can be (laughs) excited about what we're doing and yet can feel a lot of coaches used to be in a corporate environment and even Mm -hmm. corporate environments have changed in the last several years. We've become more Mm -hmm. remote workers and those kinds of things. So we get together, it might be Zoom, but it is very connective, very, we do breakout groups with fun questions to answer. We come together Mm -hmm. as a big group, we connect. So the social hours are all sorts of fun. And then Mm -hmm. the, the thing that I've recently added that is getting such great feedback and leans into the skill side of it, because I really believe that we both need to be able to build our businesses with confidence and clarity, because that could become overwhelming. But we also need to be able to say, I'm good at what I do. And so we need to be able to continue to build our skills. So I do a live coaching demo once a month, we do the demo, and then we do a debrief. And I just added it. So right now it's me doing the demo and doing the debrief with the audience, but I'm inviting friends in. So the person who did the star power hour last month, all around transformational coaching, she's going to now come do a demo about the framework that she talked about. And some of the members want to actually be the coach and get feedback on their coaching from Mm. one another. So that's going to be, it's just a really rich um, way to engage. And then everything we do is recorded and it goes into the hub on. Mm -hmm. So even people who are joining today now get access to everything that's been done before they even got there. So it's just Mm -hmm. lots of fun. It's a great way to engage in community. And like I said, for nine bucks a month, people get access to all this incredible hands-on things that usually would be when I mentor somebody, yeah. it's a whole lot more than that. It's so. a whole lot more than that. It's And it really is. Yeah. I, it's very dynamic in a way that I, I like, because you really like, as you were talking, I was like, I, I kept thinking in my head, context is everything. Context is everything. And and in that, in, as you were talking, I was like, some, t- some days, some time, some moments in life, you might not have the time for, for or the resources to do real, like the high level coaching and mentoring that you're going to mm-hmm. require at some point. But you also understand you still need to, go forward you have you have questions you have gaps you'd like to fill and so having not only all this all these live events that allow you to interact and connect and spark and ignite each other and be ignited yourself and you've got like this library this these resources that you can 
at 1.30 in the morning when you can't quite sleep and you're like, I wanna, you know, maybe it's not the best idea to go sit in front of a screen at 1.30 in the morning, but to each their own. But yeah, on your own time, you can be like, you know what? I've got, I'm struggling with this discovery call thing I've been trying to do, or I haven't, this onboarding problem, I have, it's, it's a nut I haven't been able to crack. And I'm just, I just need to like ask some more questions and find some more information. They can go into that library. They can look some stuff up. They can find one of those pearls, one of those gold nuggets, or a few of them be like, Ooh, interesting. And they know who said that. Maybe they're a member in the member of the group. Maybe that person's got a star power hour coming up the next month. Right. They're like, oh, I'm definitely going to be at that one. And then things go from there. It's, it's really is a dynamic set of offerings that you've created here with this community. That's what kept coming to my mind as you were describing all the different ways that people can get in, all the different ways that people can access and be inspired and developed as just by just for 50 bucks a month, 49.99 or whatever it right. happens to. And that's just And that's, that's what it is right now. Frame. I'm actually probably it's probably going to go up in the future oh. because of the but that's where it's at good. and it's and good. so I love <laughs> that. And this is the deal about that. I think that we have to use our experience to know our audience, right? So I've been teaching and mentoring coaches for 15, 16 years. The way that I built the community was, what do I know that coaches need? What do, what have I heard again and again? So whatever offering people are doing, whatever your, know your audience, know what they need ask what they need, be sure that you're not assuming anything, and then mm -hmm. build your offering around what's going to answer the thing that keeps them up at 1.30 in the morning. That's uh, quite frankly, beautifully said. I was, I want to just keep like picking your brain and talking to you, but I was like, that was the perfect note to end on. I was like, ooh, that's it. That's the stuff right there. Find the needs, meet them, find the questions answer them and provide the next questions. It's such a beautiful, virtuous cycle I find with coaching and with coaches and with leadership. It's just, ah, gets me excited. It gets me really, it, it gives me that juice of optimism that's getting getting harder and harder to find. And I'm like, yes, we're, we're going the right direction. We're, right. we're putting them to the one foot in front of the other. Before I let you go, reluctantly, mm -hmm. but I will, where, if anybody wants to join the community, just wants to learn more about you and your personal journey, maybe they want to go right to direct mentoring and coaching. There's not, I, I'm picking up what Meg's putting down. I need to get with her like yesterday. <laughs> where can people best go to just take the next step? Preferred social media. Do you have a website people can go to? Where can people, you know, opt in to join the community? Just let the audience and me. <laughs> what we could do next. <laughs> oh, thank you. Best website for me probably is starcoachshow.com. Now that very same website, starcoachshow.com forward slash community gives a sneak peek into the community. I've put some pearls of wisdom on there that are usually behind the paywall. I've shared quotes from the Star Power Hour. So there's a lot of behind the scenes information at starcoachshow.com slash community. And look, Star basically you can find me at Star Coach Show. Star Coach is on Facebook. Star Coach Star Coach is is the brand. It's what I do and and I've got to say I love helping coaches thrive. So if there is a way that I can help you thrive, answer a question, whatever is needed, the best way to get a hold of me is through starcoachshow.com. Perfect. I, I often find like a good brand is both everywhere and it's everywhere and nowhere. It's just, you can find me on all the social media. You can, I'm on, I'm everywhere. I just go to the website. Yeah. <laughs> the website is, is the hub and every spoke, every social media link, every community link, every newsletter you might want to opt into all of the above. It's all there. Start there <laughs> and your journey. Right. <laughs> because the start, the website, the one last thing I want to say about that is if you're intrigued and thinking if she's got all these shows around skills and business building and leadership, and she's got so many. How the heck do I figure out what I want? And mm -hmm. on starcoachshow.com, they are actually divided into those three categories. Oh. So you can either look at all of them, or if you want to go to skill strengthening, go to skill strengthening, see what's there. You want to build your business, go to business building and do that. Or if you're wanting to change the world by leadership and organizations, then do that. You're delightful. I love talking to you. I love everything that you're doing. I'm both selfishly just really grateful. I got a chance to get a little bit of your light today because I'm like, I'm already brightened for it. And I'm also just really grateful that you're, you've been doing what you've been doing for so long and have not ever stopped to be just too content with it. You're always looking for, how can this develop? How can there be more here? How can I open more doors, bridge more gaps? 
And I just, I, I love what you're doing and the way you're going about doing it. And I feel like it's the more the merrier, but I'm glad it's you <laughs> who Aww, are doing it. Because you. again, you have, a, you have an easy way of bringing light to any moment, at least in my limited experience with you. So thank you for giving me a little bit of that today. And thank you for sharing it with everybody who is desperate for it. And Kevin, thank you for being a delightful host. It was wonderful to spend time with you. Your energy is contagious as well. <laughs> and I've just Good. had a blast. So thanks for having me. Uh, I just can't call it work when it's this much fun. <laughs> but Meg, thank you. To the audience, thank you for listening. You know what to do next. There'll be links in the show notes to find Meg. They'll, her name will be spelled correctly in case you want to look for her name directly. Star Coach Show. Go to the website. Start there. Live there. <laughs> but don't stop there because there's always so much more to do and more places to go. So thank you for listening. And we'll talk to you again here very soon.